I mean, hello, what I will do there? Already here is minus 30. Invite me in uh, August, or July. I mean, come on, what now? Anyway, uh, I accept your invitation, Angela. Thank you very much. Uh, let us see here with uh, this. <laughs> Answer, my friend, answer. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Abdul? I'm not Abdul. I'm Afzal. You're what? Afzal. Afzal? Okay. Yeah. Are you a Turkish? I'm not. Okay. You are a Muslim, right? Yes. Okay. What Muslim mean? Actually, I'm not a practicing one. Okay, but you call yourself Muslim? Yeah, because I'm born Muslim, so... All right, so you don't like, you don't, you, you don't think Islam is a good religion or what? I've been listening to you. Okay. You know, I live uh, in the Middle East, so... All right, don't say you where, where you live, no problem. Yeah, thank you. So, everything around me is is this way but uh you know i i i have a lot of questions that's why i just wanted to you know ask you some questions if that's okay sure i, I know you're i know you're pretty aggressive with you no know. no i'm not really aggressive if you know me in, in 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 reality you will see how friendly i am actually once i i, I was living in a building for a year and each time i say good morning to the one in the elevator they never answer me this is how i look nice too I mean, they get scared. So don't worry, my friend. <laughs> Go ahead. What is your question? Actually, I just wanted to know, like, uh, you know, there are people who say that, uh, you know, uh, this the story, there is no original sin. You know, see, I've got uh, I've got Christian friends as well. Mm. Okay, but. Uh, and I'm pretty open and I'm a very friendly person, but, you know, uh, okay. off late, you know, I've just, uh, uh, you know, I'm married. And, you know, once you marry, you know, things are different. And, you, know, you try to be a little bit more religious and, you know, things like that. Mm. Okay. I, 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 for me, you know, I know there is a God and I really like to know my creator you know, and I'm just like this, this guy who is in the, in the Bible, his name is, you know, David, uh, who's a man after God's own heart, you know, mm. so, so unfortunately, you, I can't. Okay, your, yeah, your main sorry. question is about the, the original sin. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit, conf I'm a bit confused. I, I don't know what okay. to believe. What, like, let me explain to you. I, original sin in Christianity is very simple. Original sin does not mean that we, um, let us say, uh, like the Muslim, they try to explain original sin in a funny way. They say the Christians believe that Adam is the reason for all us to go to hell. The fact, Adam, he commits sin and I commit sin too. So original sin means that is the first sin man did against God. So we believe in that. However, it doesn't mean that just because Adam, he commits sin, I will go to hell. No, because I commit sin too. The Bible confirmed that every human being is a sinner. But the Muslims, they deny original sin. But if you go into details, you will find that Muhammad, he agreed with original sin without knowing. There is that written. You can see, uh, do you see my screen? I don't actually. Uh, do you know my YouTube page? Are you listening on YouTube or no? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I am looking at it from another phone. Okay. Yes. You can unmute just to be sure we will not have double uh, sound. It says, the prophet said, we are not of many Israel, meat would not decay. This is how much he hated Jews. And then he says, if not Eve, if not, and we are it not for Eve, no woman would ever betray her husband. Now, Muhammad here, he have a wrong idea of original sin. But in the same time, it's about original sin. 
which means Muhammad he confirmed here, according to Islam, not according to us, that right. he believed that sin of women is inherited from Eve, correct? Right. So how he deny original sin in, in the way they say it to us? Same time, we don't believe that women are sinner because he was sinner. We believe we are sinners in nature, and we, we are a human, we are sinners. Adam was the first sinner, yes, but we are sinners too. But as you see here, Muhammad is the one who confirmed that you inherited sin by even gender. He don't blame the man for the sin, he blamed the women for sin. Same time, there's different hadith, which is getting Islam busted when they say to us, we refuse original sin. Right. I don't know for how long you are watching my videos. I've been watching them for quite some time. All right. You will see can here. You, you... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No problem. What do you want to say? No, I, I mean, what I was thinking was initially I was like, why is this guy, you know, he's just going all, you know, head over heels on the subject. But you know what? I actually, you know, I, I'm an educated person and, and I, I listen to things, you know. All right. That's and good. And and I know a lot of people, they tell us, don't seek the truth. But I really don't want to listen to those people. But I, I like to really seek, you know. My if friend, there is something like this, I, I need to find out why it is that way. Yeah. You notice here, I, everything I say, I show the reference, right? I never say something. Absolutely. Okay. I, I'm, so, I'm really convinced. Yeah. Read with uh, me in, carefully. In show, which is what? Read with me carefully. There was an argument. This is Muhammad talking. There was an argument between Adam and Moses. Moses says to Adam, you are our father, you did uh, us harm and caused us to get out of paradise. And look what happened here. Look like Moses believed in the original sin because we are out of paradise because of the sin of Adam. Adam said to him, oh, you Moses, Allah, he selected you and he spoke to you directly and he wrote in his hand the Torah for you. Despite this, you blame me for an act which Allah has ordained mm -hmm. for me 40 years before my, he created me. What does that mean? That's mean there is two prophets and the Muslim, they claim that both are Muslims. One of them believe in what Christians believe that Adam, he commits sin. Therefore, we are out of heaven. And that is funny because how Moses, he died, because supposedly this is happening after Moses died. There's no way Moses he met with Adam, right? <laughs> I mean, this yeah, is supposedly, yeah. yeah. So how Moses, he's a Muslim prophet, but yet he didn't understand simple thing about Islam that you should not believe in original sin. But as you see here, Moses, he is convinced that we are out of heaven because of the original sin of our father, Adam. Adam, he answered him, says, can you blame me for a sin which Allah, he ordained for me 40 years before my creation? Which means here, Muhammad, he believed there was original sin of Adam, but it is Allah's sin. Because who is the one who ordained the sin for Adam? It's Allah. Allah decided that Adam should do sin. This is fate, mm -hmm. destiny. So Adam saying to, to, uh, uh, to Moses, do you blame me for something, an act, which Allah, he decreed for me? Which means I have no choice to do it or not. So how you can blame me for that? And here we notice the stupidity of the one who made up this story. Because if we cannot blame Adam for the sin he did, it's Allah who made him do it. So why Adam was kicked out from heaven? Yes, because Allah made him do it. Yeah, but it's not, but it's not fair. I don't know if you watch a debate. I have a debate with the Muslim Sheikh just uh, three days ago, I think. You can watch it. It's called the... Uh, uh, Sheikh Abdul Wadud, you can search my previous videos. The guy yeah, asked, I I, I heard that. yeah, I asked him the same question. He says, well, I, I, I showed him this. He said, well, Allah, he decreed that. Can you say no to Allah? Allah, he ordered you to do sin. Can you say no? But it was justice, it was logic. So Allah, he made me do sin and then he punished me for what he made me do. That is a devil. So Islam is religion of a stupidity. He cannot stand a question. So I, I have a question. So why why did why did Allah create Adam in the first place? I mean, what's the purpose? Another Muslim he answered this. He said Allah wanted to be known. I don't know if you saw that debate too. He said Allah wanted to be known. So he chose Adam as a victim, and he made him do sin so people would know about him. 
In different hadith, Muhammad he said the following. Let me see if I can find it for you. Muhammad he said that I swear by Allah, if you don't commit sin, Allah, uh, he will replace you with people who commit sin. Right. He will destroy you and he will replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So the whole idea of sin, Allah is a sick person. <clears throat> He like to hear people asking for forgiveness. So if you don't commit sin, he will destroy you. As simple as that. So right. sin, sin is a requirement and it is a need for Allah. It's like uh, like you want, you want to watch a movie about an alien sucking people by a machine because they need their blood to live. That is Allah. Allah, he needs you to be sinner. Because if you don't commit sin, they will not, then you will not ask for forgiveness. And if you don't ask for forgiveness, Allah is bored. Allah, he don't feel important. Allah is suffering from mental illness. It's like saying, I want my son or my daughter to do something wrong so she will feel guilty each time she look at my face. You know what I mean? Right. And that is a sign of sickness, very clear sickness. This is cannot be God. That is devilish. That is not fair. Yeah. This God, he play games with us. If you, if we, what, what Muhammad is saying here, if you are a good person, Allah will kill you. You have to commit sin. If you want to live, commit sin. Otherwise, Allah will speak you out of existence and he would replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So what's the difference between me and you? If you, if I, if you commit, you commit no sin, Allah will kill you. I commit sin, I am better than you. Especially if I am asking for forgiveness, and this is what our requirement is. Right. And this is a clear evident that Muhammad is 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 a, is a is a foolish man saying stupid things. You know, this is foolish. This is not only. Stupid. I mean, I can't even use the word stupid. Stupid is uh, is too smart to say for Muhammad. This is beyond stupidity. Right. Uh, I, I just also have one question. I actually heard one of your debates uh, about um, some of these worshippers, Prophet Muhammad was, you know, asking uh, or advising them not to go to pray uh, when they are drunk. Yeah. So, uh, as you see, I'm not much aware of, uh, you know, uh, these things. So, <clears throat> I'm just asked to follow things, you know, but I'm, I'm taking my stance to this, you know, my wife uh, she's pretty religious, but I'm not. So, you know, I need to find a way through to... You speak you know, Arabic, right? I I don't, actually. Okay. I, I'm, you see all those yeah. hadith about in front of us, proving that Muhammad used to drink wine and he was a drunk person. Even he teach Muslims how to make wine. All those hadith. And they are sahih. All of them. Are these okay. credible or are they just, uh, you know, do they nullify this as weak? No, no, no. Those are, those are not weak. Those are sahih. Those are sahih. Those are, this is not weak. Okay. This is not. The, you see the word nabid? Nabid. Okay. Yeah. Prepared for him. And if you click, this is sahih Muslim. This is not a joke. All right. This is sahih Muslim. So right. Muhammad, he used to be a drunk. And even there's many hadith saying that he was a person who teach the Muslims how to make wine. If you go in the Quran, you will find even that in the Quran. The Quran claimed that alcohol is a miracle of Allah. Very if you go in chapter 16, verse number 70, uh, 67, it says that Allah, Muhammad is proud about alcohol. He's saying, and you know what I don't, un sorry to interrupt you, but uh, you know what I don't understand is if all this is there, I don't understand why, you know, why the Imam, you know, on, on Friday after Juma prayer, why they, why they, why they say, or why they tell us, you know, these things, you know, that it's prohibited. And I mean, they're clearly just lying to us without even reading from the scripture. You see, if you, uh, you know, you know how Islamic countries is, you want to live, you better, you know, there's, there's things you can say and there's things you cannot say. And who dare to that's question? That's true. That's what I'm scared of too. Yeah. Because who dare I'm to question? My life here. You know that if I am in, now in the Middle East and I'm doing what I'm doing, how long I will live? 
<laughs> you know, I don't think even a couple of minutes. Right. So uh, why they don't say? We know why they don't say, but it is there, as you just said. So it is there, it's and here there. we go. As you see, the, the translation even falls. It says, uh, "Out of a wholesome drink." In Arabic, it says, "Sakaran warizqan hasana." Sakaran, which means alcohol drink, we make you drunk, and a good of it, you make good money from it. So this is a sign of Allah. Also a sign for those who are wise. So how alcohol is a sign from Allah? I will tell you why. Uh, but I have a question here. Yeah. Uh, it says, and from the fruit of the date palm and the wine. So is it talking about just juice or is it talking no, about... No, 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 no. In Arabic, my friend, it says sakaran. Uh, here we go. Sakran is uh, being drunk, right? Drunk, Chris. That's it. Uh, so this is not about the juice. No, it says women thamarat in the wal anab that the khidunu min hu sakaran from the date and the grape you take from it alcohol make you drunk. This is what it says. If you change the tra- you are reading translation. This is the this is the issue. Always translation is fake. Here, this is Yusuf Ali. If, if we change the translator, let's see different one. Let us see what's going to be. Do you see that how the translation change? We just change change the translator. Suddenly, it is not wholesome drink. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Intoxicant. Absolutely. So we change the translator, the whole thing changed because simply every translator, he have his own way to translate and the propaganda or agenda. Some, they are less truthful. Some of them, they are more truthful. Some of them, they are wholesome liars. But the Quran says clearly that, you know, and at this moment, the Muslim, they will say to you, at that moment, uh, alcohol was not forbidden. Okay, hold on. So if alcohol is a miracle from Allah and saying you make it from, from it a, a, good, a, good, a good of it, good, what is good of it? How they later became evil. Here he is a prize in alcohol. Speaking good about it, saying you make good of it. It says, what is it on Hassanan? Mm-hmm. You make good good of it. Okay, what this is alcohol. What is good of it? In this scenario, Muhammad here was not sick yet. After Muhammad, he drank the poison. Anything he swallowed, he, he vomit. He can't drink no more. Muhammad, he comes mm-hmm. and he says it's forbidden to drink wine. Otherwise, as you see, this is the same God who forbid the wine. Is the same God he praised the wine. It can't be. Right, that's a contradiction, right? Yeah, in the same like either uh, in different verses says that alcohol from shaitan. How alcohol from shaitan? And here you are say this is a miracle of Allah. You know, and how how alcohol is from shaitan? Yet the the, the heaven have a, have a river of uh, of of wine. Right. And by the way, the same chapter we are reading from here is full of stupidity. Like uh, Allah, he inspired the bees and he said to her, go and live in the mountains. And then he said to her, uh, eat from all the fruits and from their bellies, drink, come from there with uh, many colors. Uh, What the Quran is speaking here, the, 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 the maker of the Quran, he thought that the bees eat from the fruits and they do poo poo. They're honey. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the honey is the poo of the bees. But the fact, this is not what they eat. The, the bees, they don't eat from the fruit. They collect a nectar from the fruits or from the flowers, and they bring it, and the honey is their food. What the Quran teach, that the honey is their poop, and the, food, the fruit is their fruit, their, their food. I mean, how, how, how that can be God? This is God talking. This is so smart. So my friend, let me ask you. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you feel like leaving Islam now? Do you want to denounce Islam? I actually did in my heart, but maybe not by my words. Okay. That sounds good. So we can say you are out of Islam. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is, this is nonsense and it's, it's control system, you know, but <clears throat> where I live, it's not possible to, you know, uh, say things like this. But I think I, I just have to find a way 
I, I just have to do it. Hmm. Well, I'm very happy for you, my friend, that you left Islam. Uh, do you have any question for me about Christianity? As long as you decide to leave Islam and you, you know, you are going for, like you, uh, you are very sure that this is a very stupid cult and you don't want to be part of it. Good for you. But what do you think about Christianity? I, I have a lot of uh, respect for uh, for Christ because I, I can see that he's always done good things. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's helping people and he's, he, he's definitely, he can't be human, you know, because of all the things that he's done. So I'm just taking it like one step at a time. And I, I'm pretty convinced that Christ is God. I know that. I mean to I, that, I know... my friend. I mean to that. I mean to that. So you accept the Messiah as your savior then? Absolutely. I, I, I know that. But you know, I just don't want to go around saying this because you know how it is in, in this part of the world. My friend, who cares about the world? You, you know, the, the, the Messiah, he said, what is the benefit of you to win the whole world and you lose yourself? So win yourself first. So I'm so happy that you believe and you accept the Messiah as your Lord and your Savior. And that is what is important, is not what the world want, not what, if we do what the world want, we will go nowhere and we will never be satisfied in anything. The world today is about how to make money, how to be rich. And the more you make money, the more you find that you are poor and the more you find that you are not happy yet. So appreciation of the Lord is very important. And knowing the Lord is extremely the way to find the appreciation, which means to find the happiness. As long as I don't appreciate what I have, what the Lord he gave me, I will never be happy. So finding the Lord that he is the only one you should believe in is the way for happiness. And you just got your happiness. I'm happy for you. Thank you very much, sir. I just want to say two things. Uh, you know, I just don't want to take much of your time. But uh, one is, you know, I've listened to uh, Dr. Zakir Naik you know, speak and the way you imitate him is absolutely hilarious. You know, mm -hmm. I, I got to give it to you. I, I wish I can give you an award for it because you are, you're absolutely hilarious when you imitate him. You know, that's that, that's one. And um, the other thing is, uh, you know, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll try to get my wife and another friend as well, because I've been discussing with uh, an, a close friend of mine. This guy is uh, he's basically uh, he talks to a lot of people uh, and converting them to uh hello can you hear me yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. yeah uh, so he he talks to a lot of people and he's converting them to you know islam and everything so he's got this thing he was telling me that uh, you know you have to be more active and you know we need to get this done and see this through mm. but i'm more uh, you know i'm more logical and i'm thinking that uh, listen, if you're going to sell something to people, I mean, it has to be beneficial for them because I don't find it beneficial. Well, about so, you ask uh, this person I'm to call me. You can ask him to call me and you watch and laugh. Let him, this guy who want to convert people to Islam, let him call me. Tell him, yeah, don't say that you, is, you know, tell him that, you, would you like to call this guy? I, I really would like to do that, but, uh, you know, I'm going to take it at, the, at this pace. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be telling him uh, and maybe before I ask him to speak with you i'll speak first with you because you know uh, this guy might get offended real fast you know you know how they think yeah yeah and be careful because now uh, maybe if you ask him to call me you they will know that you left islam already so just be careful oh no no he, you know, he's not going to know that you know i know how to camouflage myself i've oh, okay. been doing it for quite some time i've been listening to your your videos i actually i also listen to a lot of uh, sam shimon and david Wood, and i really thank people like you i mean you know that uh, because people like you take a lot of risks in your life for the benefit of others and i really thank you know god almighty that people like you exist you know someday that i wish like there will be hundreds of people like you across the globe and you know uh, and and tear this uh, nonsense down I, I really like this is what i want you know yeah. Well, you know, if you if you can bring me any Muslim to debate me, I will be happy to do so. Just tell me, they can call me, and you just sit and watch, and you will see this the, the, the severity of this cult. This is the most silly, stupid cult ever, you know. And here, at the same time, people learn how to debate with Muslims, how to show them the truth, and you will learn yourself how to do it too.
It's like here. What we have here is a free school. Open every day yeah. for free. You know? Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. I really appreciate Don't call you. me sir. I'm your brother in Christ, my friend. Who's sir? There's no sir here. The Lord, he says, when, 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 the, when, when the Messiah, he wanted to wash the feet of his apostles, they said to him, what? You, want, you are our Lord. You want to wash? Our... He said, if you don't let me do that, you don't belong to me. So in Christianity, my friend, the master is the one who serve. To be the to be the first, you have to be the last. So we are different from, from different from Islam. In Islam, you see, they say that we are the one who worship a man. But look, our our the man we worship, the Messiah. They think he is just a man. He is the one who wash our feet, and he is the God for us. Muhammad, Muslim, they are fighting over his boogers. They are fighting over his snot. They are fighting over the the the, the, the underwear wash. So. We are the one who worships supposedly a man who is God, but the fact we're worshiping God who become a man, not man become a God. And they are the ones supposedly who don't worship a man, but the fact every act they do, Muhammad for them is more important than God. Even Muhammad himself, he claimed that Allah, he pray on him and salute him. Even he claimed that Allah, the first thing he wrote in his chair, the name of Muhammad. He wrote the Shahada and the name of Muhammad there. So Muslims, they worship a man. We worship God, and that his name is the Messiah, the Christ, who commit no sin, who his name is glorious, and he himself is a miracle, for God is a miracle. And I'm really happy for you, my friend, that today... Thank you very much. You accepted the Christ. I I really appreciate uh, speaking with you, and it's an honor, and keep doing what you're doing, because there are a lot of people like me who are on the fence, you know? If you want me to speak to your, if you want me to speak to your wife, you know, you can call me if you want in private, no problem. Bring your wife with you and you can call me in private. We can decide what time and I will be happy to talk to your wife if you want. Yeah, I I actually don't mind. You know, I I actually tried to notify like a few things to her, you know, but uh, she was like, what's wrong with you? You know, are you, are you out of your mind? Because, you know, she's talking about leaving tradition and customs and, you know, things like that. I don't follow Christ so, because of a custom. You see, I'm born from a Christian family, but I am not a Christian because I'm born of a Christian father and mother. In Christianity, you cannot be Christian because you are born of a family. You have to be born again, which means you have to believe and accept the Messiah as your Savior. Like you now, you are reborn again with the Christ. So we don't believe in such a thing. To be born of a, a family and that whatever the family is, you will be one of that religion. That is a stupid even to be. You have to make right. a decision. I, you have to know what you believe in and you have to agree with it. Right. I already feel like so much of, you know, stress and burden off my chest, you know. I yeah. just uh, feel so much better when I when I said this. Because before, like, I, I already denounced, uh, you know, this in my heart. But I, I don't know who I can talk to. I don't, I, you know, my surrounding does not really permit me to talk about such things openly, you know? I feel your so pain, it's my good friend. To know. I feel your pain, no problem. You can call me anytime you wish, feel free, and I will be happy to hear you. Just remind me of yourself, because I have hundreds of people in my, if not thousands, in my Skype. So don't be surprised if you call me again and don't even remember. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm, I'm not like a person who had like five people in his, you know what I mean? Like it's a... <laughs> no, no, I, I totally understand, because you know what? I'm bad with names as well. Sometimes I forget names, but that's okay. You know, I'll, I will remind you about this. No problem. That, that's fine. We can just take it from there. Thank you, my friend, for calling. And may the Lord bless you. And I will ask all the Christians here to pray for our brother here and his family and his wife, that his wife too, she will accept the Messiah and she will follow the step of her husband and they will have a beautiful family who love peace, who believe in peace and believe in the Lord of the peace, the Lord of love for our Lord is love. And my friend, love will be upon your family with your house, within your house, with your children, and the Lord will bless your family. Just be with the Lord and he will be with you. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? No devil, no power, nothing, nothing can be against me. Just be appreciation person and you will be happy and you will feel better. Because they try, you see, if we go and read about our, our church fathers, they even killed them, they crucified them, but they were they were dying happy, even death. Even you can die happy. When the, the Messiah, he said, time will come and people will kill you. And by killing you, they think they are doing a favor to God. And those are what happened to us today. Everything he said is a truthful. But yet, yes, those who give their life, they are feeling happy. Even in death, imagine, they are happy.
I, I remember somebody was telling about, uh, I, I'm not sure which, I know it's there in the Bible. Uh, they say that it, to be, to live is to gain or to die is to gain in Christ right. or something yes. like this. Yes, because, yeah, because you, you know, you, 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 you gain your happiness. Uh, there, is a, there is a story of a monk. And, you know, just uh, we take a minute to tell you this short story. There's a, there's a monk, he spent his life preaching the gospel and he's dying now, like, you know, so they brought the doctor and the doctor, he told uh, the other monks that uh, your brother, he looked like he lost his mind. They said to him, why? Uh, he said, I just told him that uh, he will, he have a few, a, few, a few hours to live. And he have like, he's so happy. And he have a big smile on his face. He looked at me, he did not talk, he's so happy. So he said, why don't ask him why he's happy? So he went inside again and he asked him, why you, why you are happy? He said, my son, I left all my life, you know, moving from town to town, preaching the, Lord, the, the name of the Lord. And now you are telling me, in a few hours, I will meet my Lord. Should I be happy or not? So it depends how we see what it's called death. The one who have a belief and he's a believer, death for him is just a stage of life, not a stage of death. It is another life. For the one who don't right. have a belief, death is death. That's it. He's gone. It is over. So for us, death means nothing. It is not something terrifying. It is not something scary. It's just a stage in life we will live. And as long we have, we are believers that the Lord, he will be preparing for us a kingdom which we never saw like. And it's not about having a kingdom of virgins and food and etc. That is silly. That is very silly we will have a different kind, something amazing, spiritual, lovely. We will be the same as the angels. The Messiah, when they ask him, this woman who her husband died and her husband, uh, her brother, he married her, who is going to have her in the heaven? He said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels in heaven. So spirituality in Christianity, happiness is not about food as in Islam or about sex. Islam is satanic cult making you be addicted to sex and food and normal pleasure we see around us in christianity yeah, I, actually actually you know speaking of that you know i mean i know this guy who uh is he's my friend you know he's he's married to like two two women and they both stay in the same house and you know so i just hinted to my wife of course i love her you know there's no way that i want to look at another woman and you know I, we see a lot of movies which also tell us that you know it's always like a one woman one man kind of thing so but these guys they say that you know no you can actually go and you know multiply and get more kids and it's fine because uh, i know people who've done it my uncle has like three wives and you know so my wife is like really scared she's thinking that i might leave her or maybe when she becomes fat after a couple of kids or something like that yeah tell her well you know see i became a christian now so that 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 risk is not is gone <laughs> <laughs> so absolutely she, yeah so she should be happy to, for that i have to tell her that yes i mean uh, that's how it should be you know i i just never understood how, how it is like it's it's sad that you know i've got a lot of friends a lot of friends who are actually females i mean we chat we don't probably meet face to face but we chat and you know their lives are so sad and i feel a lot of pain for them because some of them you ever heard about this muta yeah mm, oh yeah uh, I, I, don't ask christian prince if he heard that will be not <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry sir. <laughs> yeah right. yeah yeah so you know that that really happens you know oh yeah it's like it's a contract uh, marriage and you have three days to return her and you basically you take in a virgin actually the, 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 her back. The, the, the three days is not a must you can have it even for two hours it's not, this is like a, a statement about the day. the important is that you set up the date and the time uh, predated which mean if you say 15 minutes it's 15 minutes if you say two hours two hours if you say uh, two weeks it's two weeks that's it you know yeah, you know, for me, I never understood that. And it was very difficult because I remember one of uh, one of the times, you know, I was asking my friend, just imagine if somebody takes your sister. I mean, I don't have sisters, yeah? So that's why I can't really think about it. So my friend, he does. But I asked him, told him, 
what if someone comes for your sister and you know just wants to have her for like two nights i mean what do you think about that you know well this is obviously it's, and, it's prostitution you know it's prostitution and, but and it's cover. actually legalized religious prostitution that's what i would like to term it as yeah it's a prostitution but um, he made it legal uh, uh, god allows religion yeah but in fact it's prostitution yeah. well as you see islam you know islam is just a cult and uh, as the messiah he said from their fruits you shall know them and for me i don't reject muhammad because his name is muhammad even though the name is an insult to god because he called himself the praised one but i reject him and reject his teaching because from the fruits you shall know them there is many people they speak good but they do bad muhammad never spoke good and never do good he is evil in both way so he is 100% a devil man uh, i agree with you all right Any, anyways uh, cp i'll let you go and thank you so much for this conversation Thank and uh, please make sure that you you still have those you know i i like humor a lot so i like your mono acting as you know a couple of different personalities and it's fun especially yeah. when you imitate Z- uh, dr zakir naik it's, it's funny <laughs> all right my friend thank, <laughs> thank you, you very, very much, much. you and enjoy your evening thank glad you enjoy what you are watching thank you very much thank you god bless you thank you good you know i can change myself i am i'm not being funny i this is how i am I'm not being fun. this is how I am trust me <laughs> and actually you know the lord the lord make me more happy uh, every day uh, sometime i ask myself like you know he we go i make a phone call to zakir naik and did i prepare the words honest to god i never prepare anything to say it's come by itself how, how i don't know don't ask me it, it sound weird right like okay i make a phone call and then the word the answer all of the, all of it it's come right away in the spot and all of you 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 you, you know you love but i believe that the lord he chose his men to deliver a message and he empowered them yes i'm not saying i'm not a sinner you know i i'm like everybody here maybe you guys are better than me but i believe that the lord he chose me to do what i am doing and i believe that i can do it because of him not because of me otherwise you know if you go back and i i used to do the live chat for 12 hours 13 hours 16 hours once i open my chat with this is impacto i open friday afternoon i went to i went to work monday without closing the chat room You believe it from friday afternoon to saturday in the morning non-stop if you do what i do for two hours you will lose your voice but always i feel happy i feel so excited especially when i hear the voice of those who leave islam and they accepted the messiah so this is a very happy mission it come with a lot of pain in the same time but there is a sometimes there's something's called a beautiful pain a pain will make you a worth of existence a pain will make you uh, feel different uh, so uh, pain for us as a christians is not a curse the lord he says that you're a blast because they curse you it's a blast